What is popping, y'all? Welcome to another episodic installation of Above It All, the number one show on YouTube.com, the show that you should be sending your friends and family, the show that is hosted by a real person, and it is only for real people. I'm sorry, that excludes Trump voters, that excludes racists, that excludes capitalists. I'm sorry, y'all are just fictitious cartoon characters. You need to actually go outside and talk to regular normal people because you are obviously an antisocial freak. So, I've got a new poll here that is extremely interesting. Um, so let's take a look. This is a satisfaction with the current state of America. In general, are you satisfied or dissatisfied with the way that things are going in the United States at this time? I don't understand how 45% of the country said that they were satisfied in February. I don't understand that. I think that that is absolutely bizarre. Okay, the state of this country has been in teeter-tottering mode of an economic collapse since Barack Obama took office, since George W. Bush ruined the fucking economy, since Bill Clinton incarcerated millions of people with the crime bill, since Ronald Reagan decided to destroy education in this country, etc. and onward, okay? This is the thing. This country has always been on a downward trend. But obviously, most people do not realize that. Most people have what we call ignorance is bliss. They just don't see it, and so they don't care. They don't think about it. All they really care about are themselves. But with this pandemic, with this depression, with 40 million people being evicted in the coming months, this is onward and upward of a disaster, and it is impossible to deny at this point. Now, apparently, somehow, 87% of people are still denying it. But again, 45% to 13% in just like a six-month time span? That's impressive. Good job, Donald. So, but what's more interesting here are the numbers of party affiliation. Democrats have been routinely unsatisfied, you know, with topping out of 15%. Who are the Democrats that go from 15% and then say, oh, Donald Trump really had me when he was bombing Iran and when he was fucking destroying the country with a pan... Like, in May 2020, 15% of Democrats were like... You know what? Donald Trump did a great job not shutting down the country properly, telling people that masks are political and not to wear them, saying that science doesn't exist, saying that germs don't exist. He did a great job. But now that Donald Trump wants to reopen schools, oh no! Like, who are those fucking Democrats, by the way? But again, here's the thing with independence has catapulted down from a high this year of 38% approval of satisfaction with the country's direction in March. And then the pandemic hit down to 24%. Somehow in 34% in May, they brought it back, but then they realized, oh shit, that was a false alarm, right? And then it's going down all the way down to 12. But the more interesting thing is the Republicans are, it's looking like the Republicans have given up. They just like, they realized that this country is garbage. They went from 80% satisfaction in March right before the pandemic became serious, to 20%. That is a 60-point drop, okay? That is unfucking believable And so, again, that, I, 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 that blows my mind. Yet, you're still going to see Republicans defend Trump all day because that's their guy. They're stuck. You know what I mean? Like, they're fucking stuck. I got to clean my glasses. There's a smudge on them. They're stuck with this fucking stupid fuck. But when Trump goes away, and you know what? You know what? One of my favorite potential future, like, things is that Trump is going to run again in 2024. It's pretty clear at this point that Trump is going to lose. But when Trump loses, there's going to be an opening. And I think that Donald Trump will try to run again. Count me on it. If he loses, he's going to go for Grover, Grover Cleveland mode. He's going to go the fuck in. Now, 
if Trump wins, obviously that's not a thing, but he'll try to, you know, he'll do whatever. But I totally think Trump will run for president again if he loses because there's no constitutional reason why not. And he's just a fucking egotistical, egomaniacal jackass, okay? Now, I also think that there is a brewing hard right fascism, you know, non-egotistical fascism in the Republican Party, the Tom Cottons. I don't know how much sway they have in the Republican Party, but they are definitely there and they are growing, okay? But again, it's just amazing to watch a 60-point drop in Republicans' satisfaction with the country. 80% to 20%. I wonder what happened. Oh, maybe some of them got evicted. Maybe some of them died. Maybe some of their families died. Who knows? But it's certainly going to be interesting to continue tracking this information because goddamn, I love to see it. This country is garbage. It has always been garbage. The United States of America is a third world country with a Gucci belt. It is fake. It is put up on stilts. It is not a real country. Everything you see in media is fake. It is designed. You know, if you look at cop shows, you know, soap operas, you know, sitcoms, right? You could not get better propaganda from propagandist ministers in Nazi Germany, all right? When people turn on the television and they see this stupid fucking cringe garbage all over the airwaves, that shit is fake. None of it is real. All of that shit is scripted. Look at the reality TV thing, for example. Most reality TV is scripted garbage, but they'll still say, it's reality TV, because they want you to think that there are people like you out there, and usually they want you to think, oh, those people are like you, but they're well off. They're more, you know, they're more stable. They want you to be afraid of admitting that you're poor. But guess what? It's okay to be poor, even if you're a Republican. It's okay to abandon your guy. I know. You spent years of your life in a parasocial relationship with someone you've never met and doesn't care about you. I know. That can be devastating. But understand this. You have solidarity with us, with the workers, with the poor, with the fucking minorities, with everyone. We want to help you get out of your parasocial relationship with the Republican Party. We want to get you and bring you to not the Democratic Party, because fuck them too. We want to bring you to no party, but we want to bring you to community. We want you to stop being antisocial. We want you to embrace everyone around you. We want you to stop hating black people. Stop hating gun advocates, because now conservatives hate guns now all of a sudden. When the left started arming up, all of a sudden, conservatives are swarming my comment section saying, oh, that's not real Second Amendment practicing. It's like, okay, whatever, buddy. But it's like, we want you to really embrace what it is to be a human, not an American, not a European, not a Canadian, not an Australian, not an Asian, not a, you know, like we want you to embrace being a human. Stop dividing us. Stop fucking around and let's work together and let's take down the aristocrats for fucking around for fucking decades. It's about time that they find out that we don't like their asses. Thank you.